Hello everyone! In this tutorial we'll be making three-dimensional arrays of objects. Now these aren't arrays of data like you'd find in C++ or Blueprints, it's more of like a building effect that can be used for any sort of cube-like object or a pathway that extends off. Uh, it's pretty fun to watch, especially if you have like a top-down view. Um, and all of these objects can be solid, since we're using instant static meshes, and you can spawn quite a lot of them before the game starts chugging along. So yeah, let's get to it. So first you'll want to create a new blueprint, and add a... oops. Actually, let's rename it. To build a thing. Alright, cool. So we'll add a component as an instant static mesh. And we can set that as the root. Select a mesh. I'm just going to use the 1M cube. And we'll add a few variables. We'll have a counter as an integer, a size as a vector, and a cubes per second as a float. Compile it. Alrighty. In the event graph, we're going to make it so as soon as the object is placed into the world, then it will start building. So we will create a set timer by event. Uh, get the cubes per second, and take 1 divided by cubes per second, which will give us the time. Turn looping on, and drag this out from the event, type custom, and then builder, or whatever you want to call it. Alrighty, so we have the event tick thing done. So now we will set up some of the math. We'll get the size, break the vector, and floor all of the values, because we'll be using integer math for this. If you're not aware, floor just cuts off whatever decimal or remainder is attached, so if you have like a 2.2, .2, then it turns it into a 2. Um, just for the default values, just to get this out of the way, let's make it 3 by 4 by 8 on the size. In cubes per second, let's set that to about 200. Alright, cool. So, we'll take the x and y and multiply them together. And grab a counter from out here. Get it. Divide that by this, the x value, and we'll get the modulus, which you get by typing percent of x as well, and we'll get another one of these divide things, and we'll divide this by, no, we'll divide the counter by this. Alrighty, so then we'll take this value, multiply that by this, the z value, and this gives us the x times y times z overall. This piece of code right here is what allows the two-dimensional array, and then we'll use this value later to create the three-dimensional. So we will take this, multiply by y, and take the x value and subtract this. Alrighty, so now we can um, start adding the instance. So, with the counter, to make sure that it's, you know, it stops when we want it to, we'll make it while this is less than or equal to this value, minus 1, because we're, the index starts at 0, and we'll create a branch right here grab a reference, and add instance. 
Alrighty, so we'll make this, and then we'll make the location. So make vector. And then what we can do is, because the this is in values of like 1, 2, 3, we can take this and multiply it by a float, let's say 110, to give us more accurate world space. You'll adjust this value based on how big your meshes are. Alrighty. So we'll have that, it'll add a converting node, we'll add this one into Y, and this one into Z. And one more thing, we'll get the counter, and we will increment it. So double plus, so that it changes on every iteration. Alright, hopefully that worked, so we'll see. Put this into the world, play, and it did. Cool. So now, if you want to spawn it whenever the player is looking at the, um, like at the ground, so you can just you know place it down like that. You can go into your first-person character or whatever you're using, whatever event for the drawing a line. Get the first-person camera. Get the forward vector get world location, start it at the world location, and then multiply the forward vector by some huge float, add these values together, put that to the end, uh, make an array for world static or whatever you want the, the vector to hit, and then break the out, get blocking to see if it does hit, and then get the location of the hit, make transform, and spawn the actor that we just made. So here, we'll change it to building thing. And let's lower the cubes per second to like 50. Play. And now we can spawn them whenever we want. Anyways, I think that's about it. Um, hope that helped you out with whatever, and hope you have a great day.